I started doing organic farming a long time ago, when all of the farmers around was conventional farming. Well, I'm, I'm Roy Oman, I'm an agriculturist. I, mean, I, I was born on a farm, I also studied agriculture at school, and from then I'm involved in organic agriculture. Conventional farming has two main problems. The first being the cost of the conventional farming in terms of money, and the second being the cost of conventional farming in terms of the cost to the environment. You have to keep pumping more and more conventional inputs into um, the farm. And it, it causes degradation to the soil. It depletes the soil. It destroys all the flora and fauna in the soil. A lot of people don't have the confidence that um, organic can be as, as, as fruitful as conventional farming. Dome is a grassroots organization made up of farmers like Roy Ormond, as well as non-farmers, persons interested in living the organic lifestyle. U.S. Aid Cuts has been very, very helpful to Dome. We have been working with them for the past two years, two and a half years. They have assisted us tremendously um, in training our farmers from the basics, the fundamentals of organic farming, all the way to the steps necessary for um, certification. Certification is very important because people say they are organic and they are not. The advantage of having farmers around you, being organic is very important, that you can keep your natural environment safe. Farmers meeting farmers, it's networking, so they get a chance to exchange their ideas, exchange their problems, um, exchange their experiences with each other, as well as learning new information during these classes. It's creating a whole new community, an organic community, and it's helping the farmers not to feel too isolated because they know there are others out there, just like them, trying to do the same things, working towards the same goals. We hope that certification will allow us to export our products to neighboring islands and further afield internationally to United States and Europe. We should be in line with the international certification, so whatever comes, we're ready. We want to make Dominica an organic island. That's our, our ultimate goal, 